Well, hello there, and welcome to Urinetown. Not the place, of course, the musical. Urinetown, the place? Oh, it's a place you'll hear people referring to a lot throughout the show. Hear the news? Nick Carter old so and so off to Urinetown the other day. Oh, yeah? What did he do? Uh, such and such, I hear. So what do you know? Old so and so. It's kind of a mythical place, you understand? A bad place. A place you won't see until Act Two, and then, well, let's just let's say it's filled with symbolism and things like that. But you're in town, the musical. <laughs> well, here we are. Welcome. It takes place in a town like any town you might find in a musical. So here's the first setting for the show. And as the sign reads, it's a public amenity, meaning all the toilet. People have been waiting online for hours to get in. It's the only amenity they can afford to get into. Say, Officer Lockjaw, is this where you tell the audience about the water shortage? Oh, what's that little sound? You know, the water shortage, the hard times, the drought, a shortage so awful that private toilets eventually became unthinkable, a premise. Whoa, so little Sally. <laughs> Not all at once. You'll hear more about the water shortage in the next scene. Oh, I guess you don't want to overload them with too much exposition, huh? Everything in its time, little Sally. You see, you're too young to understand it now, but nothing can kill a show like too much exposition. <laughs> How about bad subject matter? Oh, uh, well, then. Or a bad title, even that can kill a show pretty good. Little Sally, suffice it to say that if you're in town, the musical, People have to use public bathrooms in order to take care of their private business. That's the central conceit of the show. Masses are bad. 